today in this video we're going to be describing quadratics. It's a necessity that when we describe quadratics that we follow the DRT format standing for dilation, reflection and translation respectively. So let's begin. Dilations is the narrowing and widening of a quadratic. This is simply just the a value in our ax squared plus bx plus c form of a quadratic. We write the graph of y equals x squared has gone through a dilation of a factor a from the x-axis. If we take a look at 2x squared, it's plain to see that it has become narrower, unlike, however, one half of x squared, which has become wider. If the value is greater than one or smaller than minus one, it will become narrower. If the value is smaller than one or greater than minus one, it will become um, wider. It's important to remember that if a is zero then it loses its quadratic classification it becomes linear or some other kind of polynomial. On to reflections. Put simply reflection is just whether or not the, the graph is rising up or going down. A simple way to remember this is to think of it as smiling or frowning. This is shown in the diagram. Uh, algebraically this is just whether or not the a value is positive or negative. When this is written it states the graph of y equals x squared has gone through a reflection in the x-axis. Translations are about moving the graph around the plane. Uh, chances are you've learnt in previous years that the graph is moving up, down, or left and right. However, our language changes after reaching uh, VCE mathematical methods. Now we use positive direction or negative direction in its respective axis. If something is translated to a positive direction, we are moving towards the first quartile. We're moving closer to this section here. But if we're moving in a negative direction, we're moving away from the quartile. So away from here. So here's some uh, examples. As you can see over here to your left, we have the graph of y equals x squared translated three units in the negative direction of the x-axis so we're back away from the first quartile over here and here we have the graph of x squared translated four units in the positive direction of the y-axis where we're closer to here but moving vertically now we're going to use them all together to describe y equals negative two lots of x plus three squared Plus four. Now we have to follow the DRT format. First we open with the graph of y equals x squared to tell the reader that we're dealing with a quadratic and we're going to start with this graph and then we continue by talking about the dilation. The graph of y equals x squared has gone through a dilation factor of two from the x-axis. Now we talk about the reflection. You can see that the a value is negative in this case so we write followed by a reflection in the x-axis. Now we move on to translations. It doesn't matter if we state the x or y translations first, so long as we mention both. Right, it has translated four units in the positive direction of the y-axis and translated two units in the negative direction of the x-axis. And that's how we get our full description. Finally, we're going to move on to getting the equation from the description. In a SAC situation, you may be asked to write down an equation that, that it describes. So, here's a, our start of our description. The graph of y equals x squared. Okay, so we're dealing with a quadratic. So, let's, let's put down what we know, y equals x squared. All right, that's all we know so far. Moving on to the next line. Graph of y x squared has gone through a dilation of a factor 3 from the x-axis dilation of factor 3. So we're going to have y equals 3x squared. Now on to the next line, followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So now our a value is negative. So we get y equals negative 3x squared. And it has translated one unit in the negative direction of the y-axis. So we're moving down one. So we're going to minus one. And it's translated five units in the positive direction of the x-axis. Now remember, it says positive here, and because this is the x-axis that we're talking about, we're going to have to treat it as the opposite. So positive 5 is going to become negative 5, and we're going to get negative 3 lots of x minus 5 squared minus 1. And that's our final answer. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact me on social media, and I will see you in the next